So I've never seen The Exorcist. Um, it's one of those things where you just see it referenced so much. Like you see like jokes on, you know, The Simpsons or you see it on in Scary Movie and you see um, clips on, uh, I don't know, on Cinemassacre's Monster Madness. And you're just like, yeah, I've I've I think I've basically seen that movie. Um, and anyway, so I was, you know, in my uh, curse in life where I have to wash dishes until um, I <laughs> I perish. I I decided to try. I saw it on Max. I just saw Icon Exorcist. I'm like, oh, and people were talking about it on Discord, so it was kind of a, uh, um, it was it was uh, fortuitous. So I, I I I clicked it and watched it while washing dishes. And man, that movie is great. My goodness, it's it's I, it's one of the greatest, man. I, I like the way because it's not really like a scary movie. Like I was just thinking it's just going to be like scary. It's like the, the like modern, like, like the conjuring and stuff like that. I'm always thinking of those kind of movies. Nothing are, like that. It, it's upsetting. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You know what's happening yeah. to this little, and mysterious and, um, and yeah, it's methodical too. It's like you like, f- she's not just like all of a sudden doing stuff. She's like kind of having, has weird moods, the little girl and and then on the other side there they do the the young priest's journey where he's like he thinks he's losing his faith and and then it's like this build up throughout the the movie like the exorcism takes place in the last like 20 minutes of yeah. the movie and that's where all the famous shit happens <laughs> and so and, and so it, it's but, like yeah and so it's it's like almost like a Rocky movie where the demon is the fighter, <laughs> is, yeah. is, the demons, the fighter, and then the priest is going through his whole thing, and then it culminates for the the final battle at the end. It's like, yeah, yeah. oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, it, it's really nothing like tr- um, your standard horror. Like, there's not really any standard horror tropes in it. It's more like it's a drama more than it is a horror movie yeah. in some ways. But yeah, I think like for the, the unsettlingness, you know, the idea, like this kind of seventies aesthetic where the grownups are having a little dinner party and the, and the child's upstairs sleeping restfully. And then that child just walks down and like takes a piss in front of everybody. And you're just like, what the hell's going on? Is she sick? You're going to die up there. And they and, do all those like upsetting tests and that, you yeah. know, especially if you have kids, you're like, that is upsetting. And right. It's like, and, um, and it's, it's so good. Like I, I just, I didn't even think that this would be an aspect of it. I didn't really think that even in the seventies, it'd be like, Oh, well it's cause they don't like jump to like, she needs exorcism right away. And even the priest is like a psychologist. He's like, ah, we like, they gave up that stuff in the 1600s. And yeah. so it becomes like a test of faith for both the mother and then the priest. And it, it's, 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 it's so, it's so artfully done. It's so methodical. It's, and there's no spooky jump scares really. It just like shows you the upsetting thing and you're yeah. just upset <laughs> and you it's 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 and not not a not a digital effect to be seen uh yeah. which goes a long way too because yeah. it doesn't take you out of it you know yeah i mean yeah the great and the special effects hold up obviously um yeah it's it's a wonderful movie i couldn't i couldn't I, i'm I'm so glad I watched it. I'm so glad I didn't just say, oh, I've seen, I've seen the Simpsons. Yeah. I know what an exorcism looks like. No. Yeah. I, I, I think, you know, if people were like, what's the best horror movie of all time? Like I'm, I'm probably going to blurt out exorcist. You know, it's, it's truly one of the greats. Have you, you've seen Rosemary's baby? No, actually I haven't. It's another, another one right up there, right along those same lines. It's, it's you, I think you'd really like it. So if you know the plot, it's about a woman who's giving, She's going to give birth to the Antichrist. And um, uh, and she is played by Mia Farrow at the height of her powers. She's very slight, mm-hmm. very meek. Mm-hmm. Um, a very, like in the movie, she plays like a kept wife. And she's basically like, I, like, I don't know, 90% of the movie is her recognizing that like the forces of evil are fucking teasing her, basically. And hmm. she's insisting to the people around, you know, who, people who should be loved ones that this is happening. And all of them are just like, you're crazy. You're stupid. And, and that, you know, that goes on for a good 40, 50% of the movie. And then it's like, it becomes undeniable. That's what I think that's the fun part is like, there's a period where, where you're like, well, I suppose if I was one of the spectators of this, I would, you know, I maybe would think she was unwell. I wouldn't probably wouldn't, 
totally believe her. They get to a point where it's like, okay, uh, like there's nothing. How, what, how much evidence do I need to show you? And people are still like, no, no, come here. And you know, and that, that's like, that really, uh, uh, I think like disenfranchises you. Um, mm-hmm. I love that. I, I, uh, there was a time when Jeff and I, the writer of having fun up there, uh, I told, I was like, I want to make a movie that takes place in like a small space. And it's kind of, it's got the Rosemary's baby thing of somebody who definitely knows something's wrong and like, can't demonstrate it to anyone around them. Like they have a credibility problem. Um, there's just something really upsetting about it. It's like the stuff of nightmares, you know, like, like, okay, we're all doomed and no, no one believes me. Yeah. Well, that's what's in the, the other horror of the exorcist is that they're doing all these tests and it's like, Oh, it's normal. Oh, it's like, cause they, they throw out theories like, Oh, of course it must be a lesion on the brain. Right. And then they scan the brain. There's nothing. It's, it's like, this is a healthy child. And it's like, it's yeah, that's, it's really, and that, that's so, so it brings that mother through all those trials until she finally has to break down and, and go to the priest. And, and it's, it's so great when she goes to him Cause she's like so broken down and she's like, this is like, you're my last hope, you know? And even he's just like, I don't, I can't help you. You know, it's, this is, it must be medical. You have, you found anybody else, you know, it's, it's great. But now in the new one, she, she says, well, I wasn't allowed in the room due to patriarchy. <laughs> she says that in the movie. <laughs> she advised me to keep my fingers away from her. Goddamn. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.